There are many evenings that Pastor Ron and I take a walk in Agdenio Park. Each season brings a beauty all its own. Take, for instance, spring. Not only does one experience the coming alive of nature, but also the return of ducks and geese. The other night while we were taking a walk around the lake in the park, we could not help but stop and watch a family of geese swimming on the lake. One parent was in front and the other at the end with seven goslings in the middle. The family stayed together. Not one gosling strayed from the line. Another evening, a mother duck was staying real close to her ducklings. She was on guard and stood over them just in case we came too close. And the dad, I noticed, wasn't too far away. I know that if one of those ducklings was frightened in any way, that duckling could run to its mother for protection and comfort, and she would gladly spread out her wings and cover him. Psalm 94, 91 and 4 says, He, God, will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. When I read this verse, I think of those ducks and geese and how protective they are of their little ones. In the same way, God is protective of us and he watches over us. He is there at all times and will never leave us alone. He will keep us safe, especially if we run to him. And he will definitely offer us comfort and peace in the midst of difficult situations, in the midst of the storm. He wants us to be dependent on him because without him, we are nothing. Without him, we will fail miserably at surviving. He will cover us with his feathers. We will be safe underneath his wings. The verse also says his faithful promises are your armor and protection. His promises will never fail. Our God is a God of his word. You can count on what he has promised. And because he keeps his word, these promises are your armor and will be your protection. His word hidden in our hearts will also keep us from sin, will keep us safe from the destructive tactics of the enemy. Deuteronomy 32:27 says um, this, and that verse, I must say, has always been a very special one to me. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. I can honestly say that the eternal God is my refuge. I have found him to be just that when I have hit uh, overwhelming uh, obstacles, overwhelming sorrowful experiences. I have had to run to him for refuge and I found the comfort I needed. And several times in my life, I have also experienced his everlasting arms surround me with his peace and his love. Just as ducklings run to its mother for protection and safety, you too can run to God for security, strength, comfort, and protection. God will be there for you because he cares for you more than you can ever imagine.